Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Tuesday the 23rd of February with a 7pm kickoff as the Borough take on Bristol City in the Scarbet Championship at the Riverside Stadium. Well, well, in the last two games we had Borough fans have finally turned our corner, you know, in terms of our recent slump as we're now kept in touch with the playoff places, starting with the win against Huddersfield and then this Saturday just gone, we picked up our uh, next three points which, is away at, which was away at Reading uh, with the 2-0 victory. Obviously, Reading's obviously a tough place to go to, but it's been a good hunting ground for us uh, over the years, Borough fans. So, it's fair to say it was um, a little bit of a routine victory, so to speak, even though it was a very, very even game. Um, but we got our breakthrough um, at around the 20th minute mark and between that, uh, with uh, Ashley Fletcher uh, opening the score for the Borough. And... Um, it was a good free kick from McNair and obviously Dale Fry with the setup, which we obviously missed having Dale Fry in the side the last couple of games. And then Fletcher slots it into an open goal to make it 1-0. And then soon, and then about, I'd say about seven, seven or so minutes later, um, it was 2-0. Uh, Mark Bowler grabbing his first league goal for the club. He has scored a couple in, in the uh, cup, I think, last season. But hit a bullet. Uh, great work from Sam Morsi again. Uh, Morsi had a terrific game. Um, on Saturday against um, against Reading, and Matt Bowler twenty yards with a bullet past Rafael Cabral to make it two 0 And then, even though Reading had a fair amount of chances, um, obviously Andy Ryan and Morton had that good chance in the first half before we grabbed our goals. And obviously, um, Ovia Jaria was a constant threat throughout. But I think um, as long as we kept the other two quiet, I know we mostly kept um, Michael Nalise quiet and Lucas Zhao quiet. Um, that was the key to us getting the three points and we're still keeping touch with the playoff places even though we're still sitting in eighth place at the moment we're now just three points three points off the playoff places now so it's looking likely we could end up there we just have to keep our form going for these next uh final months of the season and obviously yeah uh, big tests are coming up uh, for the next two games which are both at home and um, obviously cardiff will be the one coming up the following saturday which will be the tough one but which i will get to uh, Bristol City in the set, but for squad wise, um, one I confirmed in this press conference um, before the uh, game against uh, Reading that Marcus Tavernier was not too far away from being available for selection again. Um, even though I was hoping for a bit that he would um, come back in for the game on this Saturday, just gone, but obviously it wasn't the case. So fingers crossed that Tav will be available come um, come Tuesday, and then obviously. Um, Marcus Brown's still out at the moment and Yannick Bellassi is still out at the moment. So they're the only main two uh, injury concerns, you know, going into the game coming up tomorrow uh, on Tuesday, rather. So apart from that, squad's pretty good to go, hopefully. Um, you know, with Dale Fry back in the squad as well, I think hopefully, you know, I think could do with uh, Anthony Dyke still could probably could do with the rest and probably having Grant Hall to help strength with the back around with Fry possibly for this game. But um, we'll wait and see what... Um, Tuesday night brings. Now we'll go to our opponents coming up um, this coming Tuesday night, uh, Bristol City, um, a club who uh, many thought would expect to be around in around the playoff um, places come uh, around this point this, this point of the season now, but they've been having a torrid spell as of late, but um, going into this game, they're currently sitting in 15th in the Championship, and their current record going into this game is played 31, won 12, drawn 3 and lost 16. Last game out for them was a 1-0 defeat at home against uh, Barnsley. Um, Bristol City are coming off a bit of a torrid week, as um, as uh, mo most clubs will probably may know. Um, I know they haven't won in the last seven in both league and cup. And obviously, um, the news was confirmed about this point last week now, that they passed in company with their manager, Dean Holden, um, earlier this week. Um combination of both Paul Simpson and Keith Downing are both in caretaker charge at the moment. Um, when I look throughout social media, I don't know who's the current favourite at the moment to take the Bristol City job. Um, I've heard a couple of reports, maybe Eddie Howe might be up and running by there, but I'm not too sure at this point. But uh, Bristol City, you know, they're a tough team to crack, uh, as we know throughout the last few years. And especially with the players they've got in their ranks, they're capable of beating anybody. And... Um, they always find them a tough nut to crack at times. Obviously, a key player, I think, to watch for them is a, a player that could very easily could be wearing a Borough shirt by now um, if things came through in the transfer window. And obviously, that is for Mara Jeju. Um, it, obviously, I send the pass. He's a play, player that I would love to have at the Borough. 
uh, even though he's out of contract at the end of the season. So hopefully, think, fingers crossed, he might be coming in for us on the free, but if we can find off interest from uh, clubs overseas. But he's a player that, you know, it's a kind of the same build as a summer longer, but he's a strong, you know, he can grab goals. He has the agility for a big man as well. So he's going to be the main figure to watch out for. Uh, for the game coming up on Tuesday. Other players to watch out for for them as well. Uh, Henry Lansbury, who they brought in from ja in January from Aston Villa. He's had an experienced player in the Championship um, from his times like at Watford or his time at Villa. Uh, so he's going to be a creative threat, no doubt, from the from the midfield positions. Uh, they've got other strikers on the be bench, you know, that can cause a threat, you know, Naki Wells and uh, Antoine Semenyo come to mind when I think of the strike force for Bristol. Um, they've got other players in there as well that are rocks at the back. They've got the experience of Adrian Mariapa in the back as well, and Zach Viner. And of course, Thomas Callas, former Borough player, of course, who had a two loan spells with us when he was on with Chelsea. And also Daniel Bentley, another up there with, um, in my opinion, one of the most underrated goalkeepers in this division. So, anyway, anyway you can find, whichever form you're in, you can find with Bristol City. They're always tough, tough team to beat, you know. Over the last few seasons, you know, um, we usually find them hard to beat, you know. Last season they took four points off us, I do recall. Um I think that the, the reverse fixture at Ashley Gate, I remember drawing two all with them. And um I was in Benidorm and that came and I watched it live in Benidorm. And then obviously in the lockdown where they beat us when one at the Riverside. So But then again, we um th this season we beat them one nil at their place, you know, with George Savile's goal, which was the last time we played him. So at the end of the day, you know, Bristol City Bristol City have been our bogey side in recent times, so fingers crossed we can do the double over them this season. Hopefully, progress our progression over to the top six. You know, especially with the games coming up, that are going to be particularly hard. And um, no Neil Warnock will probably add his own optimism to the players. You know, and get them going towards the end of the season from here. Let me know your thoughts and predictions for this game in the comment section below, Borough fans. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. Our social media links will be in the description below as well. Also, um, tomorrow, which will be the Monday, I'm going to be appearing on Robins on Tour um, YouTube channel as a Bristol City fan. Um, so be sure to check that out as well. Um, so until then, Borough fans, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV, and I will see you on the next preview video, which will be for the game on Saturday, the um, I think it's the 28th of um, February. Yeah, I think it's the 28th. Um, as Borough take on Cardiff City, in form Cardiff City, at the Riverside. Until then, Borough fans, take care, stay safe, and up the Borough.